Hey guys, how's it going? Forged Awesome here. Now, due to a challenge I have been given for this video, I will be doing the narrator's narration in a British accent and my regular voice in a regular accent so you guys can tell it between the two or whatever. It's also just going to be really interesting to see how this goes. So, without further ado, The Stanley Parable, Part 2. Alright, here we go. Even now, Stanley's office was a distant memory. What had looked like there was a computer, perhaps, in a painting, but what is it a painting or a photo? He could not longer recall. Okay, this is going to be hard. I can't do it! Alright, here we go. Alright, let's try this again. Sorry about that, guys. I, wow, my accent is so bad right now. Oh my god! I'm going to take... When Stanley came to the set of doors, he entered... I want to see what the escape pod one was. We're going to go down the escape pod door. You have to watch part one to understand what I'm talking about. Alright, here we go. Narration time. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Okay, I got it. I got this. I can do this. Here we go. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Oh, this one's going to be hard. There's so much work. Okay. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover that not an indication of any human life. What could it mean, he wondered. Des desperate for answers, he began turning the room over, looking for clues to unravel the situation. Until... At last, he discovered a keypad behind the boss's desk. But alas, no code, for the keypad guarded a terrible secret that lay buried be below his feet. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number, 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. 2845, here we go. I think I got it. Yet, incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons in the keypad, Stanley had happened to input the correct code by sheer luck and amazingness. He stepped into the open passion, uh, passageway. Excuse me. Okay, I think I can do this British thing, even though I have no idea what I'm... Whoa, okay. There we go. I will go down the elevator of doom. <laughs> oh, okay. I guess I just kind of sit here. Uh, welcome back to the elevator, guys. Now, I'm not going the same way I did last time. You're all probably wondering, why are you going the same way, Forged? Well, it's because there's a second ending here. There's a whole different way, a direction I can go. And so I'm going to go down the survival hallway, it says. Or I think it says escape. Alright, let's do this. Stanley walked straight ahead into the large room that read Mind Control Facility. No, he didn't. He walked to the escape one. Ha, <laughs> because I'm naughty. Although the passageway seemed to have the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet a violent death. What? Am I going to die? No. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> YOLO. I can't believe I just said YOLO. I apologize to everybody. This hallway just doesn't... The door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had the opportunity to turn around and get back on track. But he didn't, of course, because I'm a badass. Alright, here we go. <coughs> oh, my voice hurts from doing this British accent. I don't know how they do that. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious decision. Concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. Yep, let's go die. Because that's how you do it in fun. Okay. Ooh, this looks fun. <laughs> oh, hey, a portal to hell. That's it. I'm in. Woo! Oh, my gosh. This is going to be terrifying. No, don't not respond me, Stanley. Okay, there we go. Good. I'm sorry for yelling, guys. I didn't mean it. All right, here we go. Loading, loading. Oh, okay. I am falling. Oh, okay. What the hell is this? As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise, he reflected his life had been no consequence net whatsoever. 
Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss. Like plucking the eyeballs from a blind man. That's disturbing. And so he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to the brief and shallow life. Farewell, Stan. Oh my god, this is bad. And I'm dead. What? Wait, what? Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single, visceral instant, Stanley was obligated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him. Oh my god! I thought this game was innocent! Oh, wait, I, what? I lived? Oh, I lived. Cool. Wait, what? I'm so, and yet, it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would reset dart the game back to his office as alive as ever. What did, oh my gosh, what did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? Wait, so, this is like, the game is telling me basically that it doesn't matter what I do. Basically, I'm just going to restart and get a new ending after this. Thanks, game. Kind of dick move. All right. What the heck? When every path you could walk has been created for you as long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see how Stanley was already dead from the moment in the start? What? So I was going to die no matter what I do. Thanks, game. Uh, nature, nature. Oh, I like the nature paintings. <laughs> Dude, it's the office. That's so cool. Oh, I'm just like nerding out right now. Foiling cabinets. Office computers. Alright, let's see. Hey, look, it's door number 101. I wonder if I can go inside. <coughs> of course not. I can't go inside any of them. This is terror. Button sounds. I'm not pressing the button sounds. Oh, so this is basically a joke. It's like a giant credit room. That's that's nice game. Thanks. Maintenance room. So this is just all the crap that's in this game, basically. Kind of made to make me feel like an idiot. Thanks, game. <coughs> From Ben... Oh. That is too long to read. Screw that. Let's just get out of this giant building credit thingy. Oh, this is my office! Oh, cool! Wait, my office changes every time? I never knew that. That's cool. I'll look for that next time. Game design for some... Oh my... What is this? That looks like a torture device. Looks like I'm gonna be uh, stepping into that pretty soon. The Stanley Parable. Laugh. Oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. The, how they wish to control one another. It says on and off, by the way. How they both wish to be free. Do I just press off and restart the game? Let's do it. Oh my gosh, what did I do? Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? I, I don't know what you mean. No, perhaps not. Something, sometimes these things cannot be seen. Oh, wait, I'm going to die now, ain't I? But listen to me, you can still save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. And escape. There's no other way to beat the game. As long as you move forward, you'll be wake, walking someone else's path. Stop now, and it will be your only hope. Whatever you do, choose it. And don't let me do it. Into Oh my gosh, I died. It cut off before I could see the last word. The closure's not there. Okay, that's weird. What was the point of all that? I'm so confused. This game is weird. Um. By the way, that British accent destroyed my voice. Thanks, Challenger, you butthead. <laughs> but anyways. <coughs> wait, it's black for ever now. Why isn't it working? Did I actually kill Stanley accidentally? 
Oh, you just press begin the game again. Oh, I get it. So it's basically telling me I have to physically restart the game. Thanks, game. Anyways, that was the Stanley Parable Part 2. A totally different ending, like I said. I, I honestly didn't think I was going to die. But I guess the point of that whole thing was that no matter what I do, I'm going to end up dying anyways. Because my life is controlled. That's weird. <laughs> That's a really weird thing to think about. So there's no possible way for me to live through any of these because I'm just going to die in the end anyways. Welcome to li welcome to life everybody. Welcome to li This game's making me realize life is just per Oh hey, it does change. That's cool. Anyways, that was the Stanley Parable Part 2. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to leave a thumbs up on that because I want you to like the video. Also, I want you to I have to write this my own. S U B S C R I B E subscribe subscribe the video like the video uh draw arrows on the vi I don't know anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of the Stanley Parable and I will talk to you guys later